Hey everybody, in this lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to set the flaps properly for takeoff and for landing in Flight Simulator. My whole purpose for starting my website and for my YouTube channel is to help you get the most out of your flight simulation experience and make it as realistic as possible. So as much as I can, uh, I'm integrating principles from actual flying from being a flight instructor and an airline pilot and I'm trying to integrate that as much as possible into my video lessons to help make flight simulator um, as realistic as possible as it is to real world flying. Uh, so for today's lesson, I actually have a Cessna 172 pilot operating handbook. Uh, I got it online. I'll put the link down below where you can actually download it for free. Um, and all this information is pretty much available on the internet for free for a lot of planes. You can get the operating handbooks for it. Um, so here we have uh, page 4-7 under the normal procedures um, in the operating handbook. For a normal takeoff, um, it says number one wing flaps up carb heat cold throttle full open elevator control lift nose wheel at 55 knots so that's our rotation speed and then we're going to five num uh, number five climb speed is going to be 70 to 80 knots so that's where we want to pitch for uh, when we're climbing out uh, if you haven't watched lesson two and lesson eight I would really recommend you watch those lessons um, before going to this lesson um, just it'll help it integrate a little bit more. So for normal takeoff, you know, as we see here, it's going to be wing flaps up. And then on the next page, if we're doing a short field takeoff, it's going to be the same thing, wing flaps up. And then for a short field takeoff, though, we apply the brakes and then we add full power, um, lean the mixture if we need to. Um, I'll cover that in a different lesson and then release the brakes. Whereas a normal takeoff, um, we just add full power and we're not holding the brakes. Um, but in both of those scenarios, our wing flaps are going to be completely up. And the reason is that what wing flaps do is they increase the camber and the surface area of the wing. Um, thereby creating more lift, but that also comes with a drag penalty. So when you start adding in flaps, um, it will help you create more lift, but the ensuing drag that it creates is actually going to hurt your takeoff roll and your climb performance. Okay, page 4-14, um, wing flap settings. Normal and short field takeoffs are performed with flaps up. Flap settings greater than 10 degrees are not approved for takeoff, and that's because of what I was saying. If we use more than, um, if we use flaps, you're creating more lift, but you're also creating more drag, which overall hurts your takeoff performance. Um, but you can use up to 10 degrees of flaps if you're taking off from a softer or rough field. Um, and what that allows you to do um, will actually allow you to get off the ground sooner and then you keep the plane close to the ground in ground effect. I talked about a little bit about that during um, my lesson on aerodynamics. I talked a little bit about ground effect at the end. So for a soft field takeoff or a rough field takeoff uh, we want to get off the ground because the friction from the ground is also decreasing our takeoff performance. So we use the flaps, get off the ground, stay in ground effect, pick up airspeed and then start climbing out and then during our climb we're going to raise the flaps. Um, so I just wanted to bring those three things to your attention that for for taking off we never use more than 10 degrees of flaps in a Cessna 172. Now different airplanes are going to have different settings like some some of the once you get into bigger airplanes you usually it's normal to use um, a slight amount of flaps for takeoff but your takeoff flap setting is always going to be less than your landing flap setting. Uh, now for landing the procedures in this manual for the Cessna 172 um, basically call for flaps as desired so we can land with no flaps 10 degrees flaps, 20 degrees, 30 or 40 degrees if the plane has 40. So the 172 varies. Some of them only have 30 degrees. Some of them have 40 degrees of flaps. Um, but usually we want to land with full flaps because that gives us the highest descent rate and lets us fly at the slowest airspeed, creating the most lift and the most amount of drag and giving us the shortest landing possible, which is what we want. Um, but for takeoff, we're always going to take off with flaps up or we can use flaps 10 degrees for a rough field or a soft field, um, but never more than 10 degrees. And then for landing, we'll normally land with 30 degrees of flaps. Um, when you might want to land with 
less flaps is if you're landing in a strong crosswind. Um, the stronger the crosswind, you might want to land with only 10 or 20 degrees because you have more rudder authority um, to land in a crosswind. And again, crosswind landings, I will cover that in a further lesson. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show you in X-Plane the flap selector. Uh, this is the X-Plane 172, uh, and the flap selector is right here to the right of the trim wheel. Um, each notch, you can actually see there's a detent for each notch of flaps, so that if you're physically flying a 172, you know where to put the flaps, and the simulator doesn't matter. Um, whatever button you assign will put in the flaps one notch at a time. Um, so the first notch, that's 10 degrees of flaps, 20 degrees of flaps, and then the last one's 30 degrees of flaps. Um, so this plane only has 30, not the 40 degrees of flaps. Um, finally, I wanted to point out, um, on your airspeed indicator, there's this white arc over here. Now that white arc is your flap operating range. So when you're cruising along, uh, you do not want to select, fl select flaps unless you're in the white arc. If your airspeed's higher than the top of the white arc, you're too fast to put in the flaps. And if you do put in the flaps, you're going to do some structural damage to the airplane. Um, so anytime you're flying along in cruising and you want to add flaps, make sure you slow down first into the white arc. Then you can start adding in flaps. And so for takeoff, remember that we're going to do flaps up for almost every takeoff. And then uh, if we're doing a soft field takeoff, we'll go down right to there to 10 degrees of flaps for the soft field takeoff. And I will actually cover short field and soft field takeoffs and landings in the next video lesson. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook.com slash Flight Trajectory, and uh, check out the website for any updates as well. Thanks for watching.